Guys, hopefully this will just be a quick video. I've uh, been messing around in flow code again. I just need to. Uh, I wanted to try and make one chip communicate with the other um, using DALI. It's called. I'm not sure what it stands for as of yet, to be honest. I just wanted to try and get one chip to communicate with the other. Um, the first chip is that one. They're just 16F877As. They're just what I use to test things, whatever. Um, as I say, that one is the TX chip and that one's an RX sort of. That's how I've got it set up at the minute, anyway. Uh, that one's sending a packet of data every 200 milliseconds. And then this one, whenever it receives a packet, it flashes a blue LED. Uh, when it doesn't, obviously the red LED is on. So it's very, very simple, but it's sending uh, a packet of data that represents number 14. So this could be used for, you know, say you've got a temperature sensor attached to this one that's outside, and then you want an LCD screen inside. You've only got two wires, you know, transmitting a receive between each chip, which obviously, you know, doesn't sound too impressive, but it saves a hell of a lot of wiring, considering you can send a hell of a lot of data through just two wires. Um, the original idea is, uh, my dad works, he, put, he puts up quite big lifting equipment and we were, he wants to know if it's level or not, so what we were going to do was put a, a sensor on the top of this steel RSJ uh, and then obviously I have two wires that come down to a little remote unit where you could have an LCD screen that tell you obviously different values and whatever depending whether it's level or not so it's going to save a hell of a lot of wiring um, but anyway, on a slightly less boring note, I've got my new little uh, new little setup for in my flat because obviously I can't have a full blown shed. So I've got my MacBook, I've got second monitor, variable, current and voltage power supply, all my little components. Uh, sister bought me a new uh, soldering station for Christmas. That's a SMD reflow gun on the left and a standard soldering iron on the right. Got me a oscilloscope. Solder fume extractor, sort of forced into getting that. <laughs> um, yeah, I got started to get it all together, so it's all good. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want any of the code, um, etc., for this, I can send that through to you. Just something to you, for you to mess around with, because it, it did take me a while to get it to work, but should be quite handy for you. So, yeah, cheers. I'll speak to you soon.